Welcome back to the Forensics Detailing Channel. In this video, we are gonna be unleashing the demon. We're gonna be looking at this car plane demon pack of detailing products. Again, we're looking at the kind of rock bottom bargain basement stuff and trying to see if it's any good. So um, we're gonna let the demon do the work and see if the demon's any good. Okay guys, great to see you. Welcome back to the Forensics Detailing channel. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, please do so. Today we are looking at this car plan demon kit which costs £19.99, which is phenomenal. What do you get for your money? You get a litre of Demon Wheels Fast Wheel Cleaner, a litre Demon Clean Super Active Cleaner, interior and exterior, ready to go APC. Demon Shine, a litre of it, a detail spray basically, drying aid. Demon Tires, a tire dressing. Demon Foam, uh, a car, they describe it as a snow foam car shampoo. You can stick it in the lance. They sell this thing in like a big like thing that you can hook onto your hose pipe and lug it around and try and use it like a snow foam lance with your mains pressure washer. I'm not describing it very well and it sort of dribbles out the end with my pressure anyway, so it's not really good. But you can also just use this in a normal snow foam lance or in a bucket as, as a normal snow foam. Um, you get old SpongeBob SquarePants here, a premium, premium uh, sponge, and you get an air freshener, a hanging air freshener that's in the car. So uh, yeah, I'll overlay the pictures of it. First off, that is a lot of detailing products for 20 quid. So that is, that is a bargain. But I wanna now talk about how these products perform and if, if it's actually kind of worth looking at some of these products and ditching some of your, your premium detailing products in favor of these. Okay guys, first off, this liter of Demon Wheels. Fast wheel cleaner, you spray it onto your wheels. When Make sure the wheels are cool. It, you must leave it for a minute to penetrate and then you can work it with a brush or a sponge and then essentially rinse it off. Here's my comments on this wheel cleaner, guys. If you break, first thing is you break the cost of this down in the kit at $19.99, this bottle is probably about three pounds. All of these are about three pounds each. The sponge is like a quid, the air freshener is like a quid 50, and the box it comes in is like a quid. So it's roughly three quid. Phenomenally cheap, guys, but it's ready to go. It's not a concentrate. Um, first thing is, you must let this dwell, guys. It doesn't have an instant melting effect on the brake disc. From what I've observed, there are stronger wheel cleaners out there than this particular product. Um, so I put a note here that it's relatively weak or below average power, uh, power. In fact, the word I used was quite watery. My tires as well, I used it to clean the tires. It doesn't talk about the tires of the um, alloy wheel, but I would typically use an alkaline wheel cleaner to clean my tires as well. Um, they were brown to start with, and normally when I've got those brown, dirty tires, when I hit them with these types of products, the foam on them goes all brown, and I will rinse it off, and I can wipe over the tire with my fingers. The tire's usually clean. I might need to go again, but the tire, when it dried, was still brown, and there was still loads of muck on my fingers, and that wasn't common. So I had to go again um, and clean more than I normally would. So the product was fighting against me. It wasn't powerful enough in my opinion. Wasn't particularly foamy as well under the brush. Overall summary of this was that for me, it was a below average product that felt watery and not very powerful. It does represent good value, um, you know, relative to some other products on the market. But um, anyway, I've covered everything I need to say on that. Next up guys, Demon Clean, basically an APC, an all purpose cleaner. Smells Reminds me very much of the APC that I had in the uh, Amazon Basics one. It smells exactly the same, looks exactly the same. It feels a little bit more watery and slightly less foamy, less concentrated. 
Um, it has that citrus smell with a hint of pine, a hint of pot toilet pine to it, a bit like the Amazon one. Shake well before you, spray sparingly onto surface, wipe over the soft cloth and polish off with a soft clean cloth, okay? Yeah, fair enough, it's an APC. Use it on four by fours, bikes, quad bikes, and marine. So you basically clean anything with this, it's a spraying clean type thing. Um, my thoughts on this, guys. When I used the wheel cleaner, and I felt on, on the first wheel, I felt it wasn't that, that wheel cleaner didn't perform like I wanted it to. I'm just gonna try using the APC on the next wheel. It couldn't be that much worse than the wheel cleaner. I used the APC and it was, then I realized the, the, the wheel cleaner was a lot more powerful than the APC as well. The, this APC at this concentration was able to do nothing to my alloy wheel and it wasn't that dirty. So it's a very mild cleaner, this, this APC. And if you're using it for interiors, it probably leads to be as well. And this is where, like, if you know, you know, you're best off with a concentrate APC so you can water it down however you need to. So you can go very low if you just want a tiny bit of foaming action and degreasing for interiors and then relatively high for wheels. With this, they're giving it to you a, a concentration or formula where it's safe to use it on interiors, which makes it not great at, at where you need that poke. Um, both of these products as well, I've tested them on my, my dirt simulator which is a greasy dirt that, that, that I make up you know I make it myself but it's a good consistent test that I can that I can benchmark products again and I'm asking these products to do the same thing so it allows me to conform uh, to perform a comparison both these products even the wheel cleaner were very very weak and there was a big difference between their ability to clean my dirt simulator versus Surfex HD which is diluted down 10 to 1. So Surfex at 10 to 1 was more effective than both of these products. Um, so my notes, quite watery, um, less cleaning power than the wheel cleaner, not that foamy, a mild APC that I got kind of below average performance on. Next up guys, Demon Foam. I've used this before. In fact, I've used virtually all of these products apart from the tire shine before guys. So I know a little bit about them. Um, this bottle you get in the kit, you just, you know, you can put some in your snow foam lance if you want to, or you can put 50 milliliters in a bucket and just use it with their sponge, you know, fill the bucket up with water and get sponging and get cleaning your car. My observation on this foam guys, at the recommended ratio, it is not sudsy enough, it's not slick enough. Um, it just, it just, it's like washing your car with water with a few kind of droplets of suds there. Whereas I really like, I really like to have loads of lubrication, feel the slickness of the kind of soaps and, and that. It just didn't perform great. Um, you can increase the amount that you use and it will be, you know, you'll get more suds, more lubrication, put more put a little bit of the product or get more product in the bucket but get more in the sponge and all that sort of stuff and you'll get a little bit more kind of slickness going but if I'm honest I wasn't really overly impressed with the uh, demon foam either no there was nothing really wrong with my results I could rinse it away nice the car was clean and stuff like that but I just felt from all the shampoos that I've used I've used there's been ones that performed a lot better than the demon foam the advantage again is that this bottle probably costs about three pounds but i think it's quite a low concentration but still decent value next up guys demon tires so this is an instant tire dressing you just wash your tires and you just spray this over them and you leave it okay you don't touch it you don't buff it or remove excess you just leave it and it's meant to be a wet looking thing this stuff is silicon free it doesn't look like your normal kind of tire dressing which is like all white you know and sort of slimy you need to work it in remove excess it smells of water it smells of just like chlorine smell or some weird smell but feels and looks like water and even smells a bit like stale water um, so after that I was thinking this stuff is going to be dodgy as hell. I've never seen anything like this. Um, however, when I used it, the first positive is the fact that it is in, this is the lazy man's tyre dressing, which is a good thing. You just literally, after your tyre's done, you just go around, spray it, 
and that's it. The coverage is good, it fans out, it, it wets the tire. Even when it's dried, the tire looks nice and glossy and it's very easy to use. And I thought, you know what, the tire looks good on the Golf. I haven't had to move, it's taken about a whole two seconds to apply the product. And I was sort of thinking, fair play, this is quite a good dressing. However, I've noticed a slight problem with this product. It doesn't seem to be very, it has no like, if you wash the tire afterwards, it almost like the product washes off the tire. It doesn't seem to have very good durability and I've tested it on my test tire and um, the plastic wheelie bin. I know it's not designed to go on wheelie bins, but I just sprayed it on the plastic and I can wash it off very easily. So it doesn't seem to like bond to the rubber or anything. So whatever material it is, it doesn't bond and it doesn't offer good durability. But this is the first product in the range where I felt it's actually had a few things going for it. Uh, and the things it had going for it is that it's so easy to use. And I kind of like that in a really lazy way. Would I use this tire dressing again? I would sort of keep this and I'd probably use it all on the Golf. I wouldn't use it on my M140 guys, just wouldn't. Um, I would use it on the Golf. Uh, I probably wouldn't recommend it though, but for the price and for the lazy man, it will look good You're, until the tire gets wet, basically. Um, it does only say, it doesn't make any bold claims about durability. So that's my honest opinion. <laughs> so next up, guys, Demon Shine Quick Detailer. Um, first things, you cannot use this product for glass, according to their, the instructions on this product. Uh, and that means that this cleaning kit has no real solution for cleaning your glass. So they missed a trick there because some detail sprays are glass friendly. I was reasonably satisfied with it, although I have, I have used glossier detail sprays with it. You use it basically after you've washed the car and you've got the rinse water still on the car and you spray it on, kind of like a drying aid. Um, it is easy to use, guys. It worked well as a drying aid and at around about three pounds in this kit it's quite cost effective. So those are all our chemicals done, guys. Some final notes, the sponge that comes with the kit is small, it's a really tiny sponge, and like sponges aren't expensive. So like, you know, they're saving an extra half a penny by using a very tiny sponge. They might argue it's to do with box space or whatever, but you know, put a big sponge in there if you're gonna put a sponge in, is what I'd say, but then the kit is only 19.99. Finally, the air freshener, <laughs> that was fine. The air freshener is great and it's probably not costing much as part of the kit. It's got it's sort of like a strawberry smell in there. Not, might not be to everyone's taste, but it's just an air freshener, guys, and you put it in your car and uh, that was probably the best thing in the kit. Um, some other observation, guys. The triggers that come on, on these bottles, they are not the worst on the market, but the drawer is quite short on them. So you find yourself really pumping a lot with these, but they are better than lots of those cheap triggers that I moan about where you've got, you know, you're literally going kick, 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 and putting out hardly anything. So they're not a complete disaster. And the bottles are quite good. I quite like the bottles in the hand and I like the litre bottles. I would almost, actually, I think the bottles are decent. I'd probably keep these bottles um, to be fair. And they're printed. So you've got no like labels peeling off or anything like that. So that's reasonably impressive. So that's it really for this video guys. I didn't do this to tear into uh, kind of Tetra Seal. I just generally wanted to have a look at these products. I've got the Tetra Seal panel wipe down there and I, you know, if I'm a user of any brand's products then I appreciate them being in business. I can see what they're trying to do. They're trying to offer you an affordable alternative to very expensive detailing products that you find in Halfords, you know. Um, like with the Amazon kit, this whole kit here can cost less than one bottle of another product, but unfortunately you're getting what you pay for, as it is often the case in, in, in life, guys, and that is, that is not so powerful a, a suite of products, in my opinion. So thanks very much for watching. Let me know if you've used these, what your honest opinion is, guys, and I reiterate that all the views expressed on this kit and these chemicals are just my opinion based on what I've talked about in this video. So thanks very much for watching guys. Please subscribe to the Forensics Detailing channel if you haven't already done so, and I'll see you soon on uh, future videos. Bye for now. Holding on to what I knew, but the moment's gone. 
ever saw you need. 